Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Digimon Survive. So we are left with deciding be true to my friends or save the world or never go back. I'm assuming this is just like the immediate bad ending. So let's give it a shot. I I can't help you. Hmm? I'm not going back to that other world. Not ever. Takamon. Why would you say that? Why wouldn't I? I? I can't take this anymore. Ever since getting dragged into that world, I've struggled and I have fought. Do you know why? Also, I could go home. And now you want me to go back? But, Takuma, don't you think everyone feels that way? That's why we need your help. Oh, sorry, but I can't. I'm just not strong enough. Ta Takuma, how can you say that? You can help. You're not weak. I've been with you through everything, so I know that better than anyone. Haven't we always fought together? Side by side? You've kept me going so many times. No, Agumon. You're just stronger than you think. I didn't do anything. But you did! Where do you think all that strength came from? It was from you. That's right. Agumon's strength comes from the bond he shares with you. It's the strength in your heart that gives him the power he needs. Well, I don't know about all that. Hmm? Did I just get a message? What a weird time for my phone to go off. Is it? It's funny. I forgot I even had my cell phone. Who could that be from? Oh. Takuma? It's a message from my mom. Just seeing that, seeing the letters M-O-M -M on the screen, my vision starts to blur. Are you okay? I heard there was a landslide and I'm worried. Could you get in touch? I don't know how I never noticed, but now I can see message after message from my mom. I, I miss my mom. I miss her so much. Just picturing her face makes me somehow feel safe, but also lonely at the same time. Mayuki, Agumon, I'm sorry. I really am. But I just want to go home to my mom. So please leave me alone, okay? Damn, Takuma's a savage. Okay, you're right. I wasn't thinking about how you might feel. I'm sorry, Takuma. It's it's not your fault, Mayuki. I'm just not strong enough for this. Man, I feel awful. I can't even bear to look at them. See how disappointed they must be. Takuma, I never wanted to have to say goodbye. Oh, Hagumon, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay. I want you to do whatever it is you want the most, Takuma. No, it's not. I wish that we could stay together, too. But this is goodbye, isn't it? Yeah. So, so, so. Look at them. Agumon tools. It's okay, Takuma. Don't worry. We'll find some way to do this. We'll defeat the master and save the world. After all. That other world is my home. We have to do something. So you stay safe here, okay, Takuma? Agumon? Man, I was expecting more of a guilt trip. Mayuki, let's go. We shouldn't keep the others waiting. Yeah, you're right, Agumon. Not like this, jerk. So long, Takuma. Take care. Is it just me, or did Agumon's eyes look wet? <laughs> Weird phrasing. Was he crying? So long, Takuma. Uh, no, wait! Agumon, Agumon, Agumon! Agumon! <laughs> after that, after they were gone, I went back home to find my mom waiting for me. I mean... Takuma, you could have waited a few hours, and a week would have passed in their time. This whole thing had been a nightmare, and now I was back where I really belonged. Only, the curry I always used to love never seemed to taste quite as good as before. Not as good as Aoi. And of course... After they vanished into the light, I never saw Mayuki or Agumon again. Or anyone, probably for that matter.
Got everything, Takuma? Yeah, don't worry. I double checked just to make sure. Well, remember that time you forgot your lunch for that field trip? Was that an important thing that I didn't have my lunch? Oh wait, no, that's right, different time. You came home in tears. Haha, <laughs> I wish you'd stop bringing that up. Mom, that was years ago. Well, we won't be able to come back here anymore. Are you sure you're all set? Yes, I'm sure. You said goodbye to all your friends? Yeah, yeah I did. That's a lie. Since I came back to this world, I haven't had any friends. Thanks to those pictures of Agumon fighting Paimon going viral. Nasty rumors about me working with monsters spread all throughout the school. Damn. I couldn't shake the feeling that all my old friends and even my teachers suspected me. Not that I really care. Not as long as I've got my mom. She's the only, she's the one constant in my life. She's always on my side. All right then, I think we'd better get going. Hey, mom? Yes, Takuma? I'll always be your kid, right mom? Well, of course. I am your mother after all. Even if the whole world comes to an end? Oh, don't be so ridiculous. I'll always be there to take care of you, Takuma. Well, that's a lie. Good. That makes me feel better. The world is slowly falling apart. Strange weather patterns, natural disasters. People have fewer and fewer places to live these days. It's weird. I feel like someone once warned me things would turn out like this. But I don't remember it all that well. We can't stay here anymore. Emergency relocations aren't all that rare these days. Who knows, maybe we'll have to relocate again before too long. Alright, come on. Let's go. Yeah. Feels like this is the end of the world. There's probably nowhere left that's safe anymore. But it doesn't really matter what happens. Not while I have my mother to hold my hand. I mean... <laughs> no achievement for going down this path? The game doesn't want to reward me for this? Well, that's just rude. Alright. Take me back to the decision, I guess. Alright. Uh, no, I don't need to save. Yeah. Alright. I don't know if this decision really matters, but being true to my friends and saving the world kind of sound like the same thing. But, technically the world's more important than my friends. I want to help save the world too. Especially after we just saw the world end. To be honest, I don't know if I'm up to it. Part of me doesn't want to deal with it. But after all I've been through, I can't just pretend like it's not my problem. I'm not about to leave things like this. I knew you'd say that, Takuma. Does that mean you'll go fight the master with us? <laughs> you better believe it. Now let's go back and fight with all our friends at our side. As long as we stick together, we've got nothing to fear. So I'm gonna help you, Mayuki. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks, Takuma. There's the... Is it make a good decision? I did reach a fork in the story. Together, I just know we'll find a way to protect both worlds. So what's our next step? That's easy. We jump into the white light and go back to the other world. Isn't that right, Mayuki? That's right. We should all hold hands so we don't get separated. What? Well, what a time to get a phone call. Hmm, it's from my mom. It's funny, the whole time we've been back, I completely forgot I had my cell phone. This isn't the best time for a call, though. Yikes. It's still ringing. Sorry, give me a minute. Hehe, <laughs> no need to panic, Takuma. Hello? Mom? Takuma? It's me. I just wanted to check in when you're coming back. Was it tomorrow or the day after? Man, I remember how I thought she was so annoying when I was getting ready to go. Now it feels like it's been ages since we talked. So good to hear her voice. 
I don't know what I did with that schedule, and I was worried about you forgetting stuff. It's, it's tomorrow. I'll be home tomorrow, I promise. But you shouldn't call me just to check on that. You're, you're so hopeless, Mom. Takuma, are you crying? Is something wrong? Of course not. Why would I be crying? Takuma, you can tell me. It's okay to cry if you're feeling lonely. Really, sometimes I think you'll never grow up. Tell you what, tomorrow night we'll have curry for dinner. I know it's your favorite. Curry? That's right. Now cheer up. It's just one more day, so give it all you've got. Alright, I will. I'll come back tomorrow no matter what, I promise. Weird phrasing. It's weird. Somehow it feels like my mom really is cheering me on. She sure is something else. My friends mean a lot, but I need to protect her and everyone else in this world too. So that's what I'm going to do. Me and Agumon together. Sorry, Mayuki. I've got to take something back that I said. What? I said I'd help you before, but that wasn't quite right. Because I'm in this too. We're going to save these worlds together. Let's do this. Yeah, and don't forget me. We're all in this together. I'm trying to think, when's this game set? 2020? Takuma is a little old to burst in the high school musical. But Agumon's, it takes time for things to get to the digital world, so. Takuma, Agumon, I don't know how to thank you. Alright, now, let's go. Back to the other world where our friends are waiting for us. Holding hands, we all leapt together into the shining doorway of light. Saving the world isn't going to be easy. My legs felt weak just thinking about it. But with Agumon's hand in mine, firmly drawing me forward, I took the first step. Oh fuck. She has returned. I can feel it. The maiden steps once more into this world. This time she will become my vessel. Alright, part nine. Yes. How many parts are there again? Yeesh. This place sure is in the boonies. Not a single convenience store to be found. Can't believe we gotta live in a place like this. Oh, this is Miyu talking about their home. The city was so hectic, wasn't it? A place like this is better for you, Miyu. Weirdos won't bother you here, right? It's way safer. Isn't she the weirdo, though? Still got a stalker, you know. Is it him? What do you mean? Is someone else obsessed with you? Yeah, you, Kaito. Uh, say what? Uh, your tongue's as sharp as ever, Miu. Don't worry. No matter what happens, I'll protect you, sis. That's the opposite of what she wants. He really doesn't get it. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't even do anything to lead him on or whatever. That stalker jerk's the worst. He says we're dating, even after getting arrested. God, this took a turn. Dating? Talk about delusional. And yet... It seems like my parents kind of believed him. How old is he? You're like eight. They look at me like I did something wrong, and even Kaito is clingier than usual. My parents, my brother, in the end, no one in my family believed me. This isn't just some jaunt to the countryside. This is exile. I hate it. I hate everyone. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> 
Didn't your parents like die or something? I wish someone would set me free. Did they die in like the war? Or am I thinking of something else? Come on, Takuma! Wake up, Takuma! Mm. Hey, Takuma, wake up! Agumon? This is... It's my world. We made it back. Why is there fog everywhere? I see. So we did it. And what about Mayuki? Mayuki? I haven't seen her. I mean, just look around. With the fog this thick, we can't see a thing. I don't think it was this thick before. We have to get out of here, Takuma. It's getting thicker by the second. Yeah, you're right. I heard something in the grass. Is something there? That sound? Yeah. Sorry, Agumon. I know we just got back, but... No worries. I'll fight whatever comes at us. Can't let our guard down here. One wrong move can spell the end in this world. It's getting closer and closer. Here it comes. Yeah. Someone there? Takuma, that voice. Huh? Sounds like someone's there. Must be my imagination. Minoru! Ta Takuma? You're alive? I thought we'd never see you again. <laughs> hey, you're hugging me too tightly. Tough cookies. This is what an emotional reunion looks like, man. What is it, Minoru? Did I hear you call out Takuma's name just now? Oh, Falcomon. Oh, it's you, Falcomon. Falcomon? And you as well, Takuma. So you survived after all. This is great, really. You have no idea. I thought for sure that... Alright, alright, I get it. Hey, where's everybody else? They're all safe, don't worry. Aoi and Kaito, Miyu, Saki, the professor. Labramon and Drachmon as well, of course. What about Mayuki? Oh, um, you haven't run into her? Uh, no, I haven't seen her at all. I see. I'll save the explanation for later. For now, let's go meet up with everyone. Everyone's gonna flip when they see you're still alive and kicking. Okay, let's go. Ooh, Renamon. They're back. Saki wasn't shocked at all. Takuma? Is that really you, Takuma? Oh, you're safe. Honestly, I thought you were kaput. Heidi ho guys. What do you mean, Heidi ho We were worried sick about you. It's great to know the two of you are safe. It looks like I caused you guys some grief. Looks like, he says. Where the heck have you been hiding this whole time? Sheesh, and here we were, wringing our hands over here. Now, now. The important thing is that he's safe and sound, right? That won't do, right, Takuma? What happened to you after you got separated from us in the factory? You're not gonna like this. Tell us all about the past ten days. Huh? Wait. Did you say 10 days? Yes, that's what I said. Is something wrong? To 10 days? We were only gone for a few hours, though. 
does time move that quickly here? Yeah, so now imagine how long Mayuki and Haru were trapped here that 50 years passed. Please tell us in as much detail as possible. Give him a break, Aoi. But any detail may be the difference between life and death for us, you know? Um, Aoi. What's this insistence? Aoi, have you changed somehow? Yeah, probably. I understand your confusion, Takuma. Many things have happened in your absence. Aoi has become a de facto leader, as it were. She's more like a mother hen than a leader, if you ask me. Better than Kaito's usually usual coddling. I feel less hen pecked with the mo mother hen. Quiet, you two. We're having a serious conversation right now. Please, Takuma, your answer? Sure, I'll talk. The truth is. I'm glad we're just gonna skip over all this. You went back to our world? Yeah, but I was only over there for a few hours. That's why I was surprised to hear over a week had passed over here. Time flows differently in this world than the other one. Like the tale of Rashimo Taro. Wow, so that's how it is. I don't know how much about time flowing differently here and there. But if 10 days over here was only a few hours back in our world, that means time flows slower here, right? No, faster. Oh, I think I get it. I mean, I guess it... Maybe that means as long as I stay here. Zaki! I'm cool, Florimon. Don't sweat it. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, I'm happy to see everyone got back safely. I mean, we are miss they are missing Haru and Mayuki. Indeed. Although to call us safe now is a bit of a stretch. Things are that bad? Uh, the fog is getting thicker by the day, almost as if it's hunting us down. One thing's for sure, it's only a matter of time before it consumes the school. Hey, one thing is bothering me. If you were able to get back to our world, why'd you come back here? We saw Piedmon going on a rampage through the other world. What? That jerk is screwing around with you guys' world now, too now? So the situation is no longer limited to this world, is it? Yeah, at this rate, our world is going to be in danger too. This fog covered world is corrupting the world we came from. That's why I came back. I don't know if I can save everyone, much less the whole world, but I couldn't just sit by and act like nothing's happening. That's Takuma for you, my man. Takuma! What a guy. So you just came back here on your own? Kaito! Not quite. It took a lot to get back here and I got separated from Mayuki. She holds the key to it all. Mayuki? Mayuki holds the key? What do you mean? Mayuki's already done for, I think. I wouldn't count on her if I were you. Don't say that. We're friends. We have to hear the details. Quiet, Miyu. I'm saying this for your sake. Alright, enough of that. Takuma, please tell us what you mean about Mayuki and the key she holds. Um... How can I explain this? She sings song, open portal. Maybe I should talk about how the worlds are connected first, then about her song? Wait, I can't explain her power if I don't talk about the Manet's family first. Is that too confusing, though? Maybe talking about Piedmont and the gate would be easier. Uh, I'm gonna say about her family. 
and the psalm they sang that passes, that opens up portals. It's hard to explain, but Mayuki comes from a family with a strange power. Ah! What kind of strange power? Like ESP or something? I honestly don't know all the details. But she comes from a line of shrine maidens who served gods, I think. Hmm. Their power can open gates between this world and the one we came from. We actually came back here through one of those gates. Hmm. I don't know about all these mysterious powers and shrine maidens. Still, you've come back, Takuma. There's no doubting that. All the more reason for us to get Mayuki back then. You think you can do it? If we have to, we have to. Why don't you get it? I don't want to put you in danger. Don't you want to go home, Kaito? Because I do. With you. And everyone. Yeah, I get it. But that's why I... <sighs> I'm sorry, Takuma. We're at the end of our rope here. Still, I'm happy you came back for us. We've been very discouraged lately. I had no idea time flowed like that here. Anyway, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. No need to apologize. Let's rest for a bit and return to the question of Miyuki. Why don't you get it, Mew? You're the one who doesn't get it, Kaito. Come on, Kaito. Chill out already. Mew, calm down a bit, okay? Right, you two. That's enough. Why don't we take a break, everyone? Takuma's just got back, after all. I'll put together an extra fancy lunch today, okay? Yeah, uh, right. Okay. Whew. Oh, hey, I'll lend you a hand. Me too. I'll help out. Ah, well, if Saki's up for it, then so am I. Thanks, guys. That's a big help. Well then, you all behave yourselves until we're done, okay? Something wrong with the professor? I mean, yeah, you were just talking about his sister, and his sister's missing. Granted, she's been missing for 50 years, but. So, what should we do? We're not gonna wait around for Awi to finish cooking? Sure, we should talk to him before that. Him? You mean the professor? Oh, you figured that out fast? The whole time you were talking to Aoi, he stared at you, looking all twitchy and stuff. So you noticed that too, huh? Yeah, just like when Labramon's looking for attention, but Aoi's too busy. Uh, I'm not sure that's the same thing. Well, either way, I have a couple things to ask the professor about too. We should find a place to talk to him. Free action. How many free actions do I get? Five. What's in the free battle? Leomon and... What is that, like, Ice Leomon? I... I don't... Okay, so I don't have one of them. I got some items, didn't I? I could take someone to ultimate, but I don't think. I guess I need a Triceramon. I don't think I have one of those. What about you? Um. I have one of those, don't I? 
I could have sworn I had a Mega Dramon or Giga Dramon. I don't know. But let's get another. Was it Triceramon? Pretty standard Dino, Dino Digimon. Oh wow. I guess I could should try catching this one guy. So we were able to recruit Ice Leomon. So now we have to decide who to share spend our five things with. Which I guess we should find the professor first. Oh, we can go to the forest? gonna be a shadow fight yeah ah, fine just to see what it is sometimes they're cool Digimon uh, uh, Miramon Miramon blue Miramon I think I have him oh maybe I don't so luckily we were able to recruit the Blue Miramon. Don't be another shadow. Okay, cool. So there's nothing else by the shrine. All right, so professor, not around. That doesn't look like cooking. I always with Saki. I should ask them about what happened in the past ten days. All right, Aoi, what the fuck happened in the past ten days? Hey, Aoi. Could you tell me what about to could you tell me more about what happened before? Did something happen to Mayuki? And speaking of which, where's Haru? Uh Do you remember how Haru fainted during the fight against Garubumon? Yeah, we left him in a corner of the factory for safekeeping. Right, so after things finished up, we grabbed Haru and made it back here somehow. But then when he woke up, Haru was incredibly upset by Mayuki's absence. I can see that. Of course he'd be worried if his sister disappeared. By the next morning, Haru had disappeared too. He did? We think he went to look for Mayuki. His wounds hadn't even mended. Oh no. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? I'm afraid not. We looked everywhere for him, but... So Haru's gone too? Yes, we're all quite worried, but I hate to think of such a small child going off on his own. Well, yeah, but there's nothing we can do by ourselves here. Which is even worse if he's off by himself. Because there's really nothing he can do by himself. To be honest, we've had our hands full just taking care of ourselves. Saki, that's... well, I guess there's no point in splitting hairs. Like Saki says, it's taken everything just to stay alive. But Aoi kept us all together this whole time. You saved me a bunch, too. No, that's not... Come on, no need to be modest. Aoi's he Aoi here is amazing. What do you mean? You see how the pressure of this situation puts everyone on edge, right? That's why everyone was always at each other's throats. But Aoi... Aoi kept all of us together with her magic touch. <laughs> magic touch? What's that? Mm-hmm. What do you think I mean? I wonder. Maybe she means like a healing touch? Treating everyone's wounds? 
Or wait, did she awaken to some sort of magical power while we were away? I can hardly imagine, but you never know. I like the idea of her being a wizard. But she healed everyone? Did she treat everyone's wounds? That explain why everyone trusts her so much. Oh, well I guess you have a point there. Right? Always so, how do I put it, devoted? Motherly? What? T Takuma, you think of me that way? Well, yeah. That part of you is always a big help to the rest of us. And I've directly told you that you're like a mother. Not a leader, a mother. Really? Me? Motherly? <laughs> I admit I'm a little flustered. Oh, for sure. That's our Mama Aoi over here. Just having her around gives everyone some peace of mind. You too, Saki? Jeez. Still, that's not the magic touch I was talking about. Wait, really? Cooking! I'm talking about her cooking! She kept our bellies full with her food, and our hearts at peace with her words. Ah, so that's what you meant. Glad to hear how good her food is. Nothing soothes the soul like a good meal. Owie sure knows her way around a stove. <laughs> Fucking sexist ass Agumon. It's not like I whipped up anything special. I just made do with what we had. She's been so caring too. Did I tell you I had planned to go to the hospital after camping? Don't say that, Saki. It's fine, it's fine. The hospital? Something wrong? Oh yeah, we did find your medical records. Nothing major. But when we came to this world, all my plans for hospitals or surgery went up in smoke. And yet, because of this, I feel like I can do anything I want to, without holding back. Do you have any idea what that feels like, Takuma? I told all this to Aoi, and she's really sympathized with me ever since. Saki. To Saki, who had to worry about hospitalization and surgery, this treacherous world is a place where she can move freely. If she's been here supporting Aoi, I can see how they've grown so close. Oh, time to leave you two alone. Unless you got an item for me. What can I do next, Aoi? Let's see, can you peel the veggies for me? Just seeing those two together puts my heart at ease. Alright. Well then, now where to? Oh, I like all the Digimon hanging on the woods together. There's Drachmon and the others. Has something happened? Dang, I just can't relax for some reason. What are you all worked up about? I'm getting the heebie-jeebies for some reason. You guys don't feel it? Not a thing. What about the rest of you? We keep sensing something weird over by the shrine, but then it just vanishes. There's nothing there if we go and check it out. No enemies, no trace of nothing. Still, it just doesn't feel right. There might be something there. Be careful, Takuma. Okay, I'll pay attention. This could be worse than I thought. Alright. So is there something at the shrine now? Well, I can at least go to the shrine now. Now then, what to do? Hmm, what's this? A giant mushroom. I mean, that can't be the only... That... Ooh, three perfect enlightenment. Slabs. Hmm. Maybe, I think. Uh, could you be any vaguer? That fuzzy feeling's already gone, though. Ah, I got you. Still, we picked up a few things we can use. I'd call that a victory, right? Anything else? Alright. 
right? I guess not. Is there anyone new I can digivolve into ultimate? Let's see, what ultimates do I need is the thing. Ooh, skull gray one. Um, can I sort by... Actually, ID might work. Actually, I don't know if it will. But um, yeah. So, assuming this is right, I have a. Oh, there he is. So I can get. The one guy there. Mega Dramon's the only one I need I, that I can get, I think. Missing where to rumor one, right? What is all right? Well, I guess I have I seen a where to rumor one. I don't have a mega Dramon. I guess. Oh yeah, I have four of these. What am I thinking? Did you have a couple people? Uh, let's see, I have all those. I don't feel like I have an Antillamon, but. I know I don't have a work of a room on. Alright, so I have those two. I have those two. Have all of them. Anji Woman and Magna Anji Woman. Alright, I got both of them. What about Intilamon? Even though what's his name probably digivolves into. Lotmon probably digivolves into Intilamon. If not, he should. There is a fifty seven. Okay, so these are all the Megas. Because that's Metal Grumon, Ward Greymon, Metal Seedramon. That one actually might be a Mega, too. HP. And who needs a carrot? Okay, the 
People have moved. Nothing hanging out outside. All right. So Drakmon's still in the woods. So we can see what these two are doing in the gym. Kaito's with Mew again. I should ask them what happened since I saw them last. <laughs> Takuma man, to think you'd come back now spouting that stuff. Spouting what stuff? All that about Mayuki being the key? You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Takuma. Bro seems kinda irritated for some reason. Okay. Kaito! I figured I'd see how he's doing, but he's in a worse mood than I'd anticipated. You're just talking nonsense since you can't bear to let her go, right? You really think I'm capable of that? Listen and listen good. Mayuki's finished. Kaput. We gotta take down the boss and fast. Mayuki's finished? What are you saying? Exactly what I mean. Just look at her. Even you've got to throw in the towel, right? What do you mean, look at her? Are you serious, Kaito? So if I was in her position, you'd do the same to me? What position? No way. I'd never do that to you. I wouldn't let you get in that way in the first place. I'll always protect you. You hear me? Always. You get it, don't you? You're weak. That's why I can't leave you on your own. And those things out there would eat weaklings like you for breakfast. Even back then, you would have been fine if you'd just stayed by my side. Back then, he said something must have happened in their past. And looking at their faces, I'm guessing it was pretty bad. Even so, Kaito's getting way too upset. Maybe I should calm him down. How the fuck do you do that? Kaito never listens to anything, but I guess why not? You've got to chill out, Kaito. Oh, I guess affinity with one of them would go up. Back off, I'm talking to Miyu here. I don't know what's going on, but you don't have to be so patronizing. She's not a store. Cram it! Don't go talking about shit you don't know jack about. What? Thanks for trying, Takuma. I'm sorry, but I can't take it anymore. I'm not something you own, Kaito. I can't stand the idea of being protected by you forever. Don't you see? I'm getting strong enough to stand on my own two feet. Mew. I'm not the weak one here. You are, bro. You're the one depending on me. <gasps> Did he just fucking slap her? Ah, Kaito. He slapped Miu. I couldn't stop him in time. See? Just like I said. No, I... What did I? You only know how to solve things with violence. You just want an excuse to vent your anger, and you use me to do it. I'm not the one stuck on what happened back then. You are. Mew, all I wanted, want to do is protect you. Protect what's important to me. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Hey, what are you going to do, Takuma? I don't think there's anything I can do. Um, Kaito, Miu, I don't know what happened with those two, so I don't know what to say. But luckily, I do. Because I am a third person entity. Oh. Oh, wait, is this where the professor might be? Oh, Shomon. It's Akamon. Have you seen the professor? The professor? 
I saw him heading toward the shrine. He must be looking at that wall mural. Thanks a bunch, Sayakamon. No worries. Hey, you guys in a hurry? If not, think we could chat for a bit? Oh yeah, of course, what's up? It's about Miu. No, about her and her big brother. Their relationship is kind of twisted, don't you think? Especially Kaito's attitude toward Miu. It's warped by his overprotectiveness. I can see that. There must be some reason behind it. Yeah, still those two are starting to change little by little. All the pain and fear of this world might have made them aware of the distance between them. That's good, isn't it? Sure, but the start of a change can be the most dangerous part. There's no telling where their relationship will end up when the dust settles from this. That's why I was hoping you'd keep an eye on those two. This is a chance for them to wipe the slate clean, so I'd hate to see it go to waste. Yeah, they should get along as long as they're together. I get what you're saying. It's just, why me? Me and Drachmon are too close to the issue. You're just far enough away. Takamon is good at getting along with everyone, isn't he? Really, you think so? Really, really, please, you gotta do it. Okay, you got it. I'll keep them in my thoughts for whatever they're worth. Awesome! Thanks, Takuma. I mean it. Alright, so now. Oh, we can go anywhere now. Weird. Let's see. What's my um, affinities? Trips. What's my with uh, Miu? 43. That's not bad. Oh, it's higher than Minoru. That's interesting and surprising. Um. All right. Is there anything I can scan here? No. I guess we gotta. Did anything change with these two? I should ask them what happened since I saw them. What's it? Oh, a crunchy clobber carrot. Disgusting. Library, that's what I want. Set up. Alright, just a few more there. Uh, who needs attack? And honestly, everyone, but. Mermaid Mon, Mermaid Mon. Okay, Mermaid Mon uses a physical attack. See, that's the kind of thing I need to know. But. This gives me, like, no way of seeing that. Uh, Alright, so who has a special attack? You know what? You know who definitely has a special attack? Aquaman. I would have thought the professor would have been here. Ooh, crunchy apple. Ah oh, man. Fight. Everyone's defeated. Didn't actually really get any items worth anything but no professor so 
We'll check out. We'll see if we can get anything here. Please don't be a shadow. Oh, fuck. Fuck off, shadow. Addressing the story. What's Drachmon doing in the woods? Alright. Oh, it's just you, Drachmon. I got something I gotta ask you, Takuma. Why'd you come back to this world, anyhow? Huh? What do you mean? That's not... I came back... I mean, I, yeah, you couldn't ignore everything that's going wrong. Like I said before, I couldn't just sit by and act like nothing's happening. Is that right? Um, is it wrong? Was that a weird thing to say? Nah, I was just thinking there's something different about you, man. Sure, Kaito and I couldn't be any more different than the in the personality department. You got that right. We don't sweat it all, right? What was that about? You got an item for me? Keep an eye on that heart of yours, Takuma. And on your boy, Agumon, too. Alright. Well, I feel like that was a weird waste of time, but... Minoru! Oh wow. Two hidden items. Right beside each other. side of the room. Oh wow, I got a lot of items. Crunchy apple. Sure. Giant mushroom sincerity melon. Oh wow. Clobber carrot to special attack. Where's the one who... Ah. I don't understand why sometimes these power people up. So he's at level 45 and he's still at level 45. But he's a little stronger now. Unless he gains a fraction of a level. Which that doesn't sound right. Minoru, what's up? My man. My man, man. What is it? What is it, Takuma? Everyone's acting all tense. What happened while I was gone? Um, uh, well, let's say it's been a lot. Sounds like it's something he doesn't really want to talk about. Well, the important thing is, you're back. We have hope again, all thanks to you. What do you think, Takuma? Has Minoru toughened up a bit? Ah, oh, come on, Falcomon. I speak the truth, no need to be bashful. Hold up, you're talking like a parent fawning over their baby boy. If it hurts your feelings, I'll relent. It was simply my honest opinion. <laughs> Why, I oughta? He's definitely gotten stronger. He can act so cheerful without putting up a front. It feels more like something he's always had inside of him has risen to the surface. From what I can tell, 
Falcomon's done more growing of his own, too. What should I say about it? I mean, he's probably the same guy. Right down the road. Hmm, hasn't Minoru always been this way? Oh, how do you figure? You always seem to mouth off, but you were just saying what's on your mind. It's like the good stuff that was always inside you has come to the surface now. Um, that is a compliment, right? Of course. High praise indeed. <laughs> For real? <laughs> You're making me blush here. Even I could discern that much, Takuma. I've become a bit of an expert on our boy here. <laughs> Come on, it's like a competition to embarrass me. <laughs> Such an odd couple, those guys. These two look like they're getting along just fine. Even after all the shit they caused. Alright, I guess we're off to the inner shrine. Hey, Takuma, the professor's over there. Oh, you're right. Hey, professor. Ah, Takuma, Agumon. Apologies, were you searching for me, perhaps? Uh, not exactly. I didn't see you, so I just ended up looking. The burrows. Did you get to look into them? Indeed, I've done extensive research on the first level here and the second one below. I only just found the third level the other day. There's a mural there, too. Wow, does that mean you figured something out? Hmm, I wonder. I don't know if this will help the present situation, but... Would you tell me about your findings? Now then, where should I start? I guess the first level. That's probably where you would start. This depicts humans and a maiden praying to the Kamonogami. Humans and Kamonogami coexisted? Apparently, if you believe this mural. The maiden is part of a particular note here. She is depicted with much more detail than the rest. Traditionally, they serve as intermediaries. She may have been one of the for the Kamonogami. A maiden acting as intermediary between Kamanagami and humans. As for this mural, what do you see here, my boy? Uh, Digimon murdering? Um, vicious monsters on a rampage? Hmm, I'll give you half credit. Look closer, would you? You can see houses and humans. Ah, you're right. It's almost like they're running away from the monsters. Yes. I view it the same way. Perhaps these are monsters that ran rampant in our world. I think the monsters that appear in legends around our world are based on Kamanogami. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Well, that hypothesis relies on this mural. There's supporting evidence, but it's plausible. Want to look at anything else? Yeah, I guess keep showing me. Show me the second level. Alright. The two areas are demarcated, with humans and monsters standing on respective sides. This mural could delineate the two worlds, our world and the one we're in right now. Yeah, because the one on the right looks like it has in training Digimon. Oh, okay. So the humans and Kamanogami each live in their own world. It's not just about different worlds. What's that in the middle connecting the two? Connecting the two? Could this be a gate? Most likely. Piedmon opened this gate to lead an attack on our world, I'd say. A gate? Does that mean there were others, like Mayuki, who could connect the world? 
it would stand to reason. Perhaps people or a technique passed down. At any rate, the method has been lost. Look at this. Don't you think something incredibly important is depicted here? What? Human and monsters are getting sucked into the gate? Indeed. Some were flung between the worlds. There's some unknown malfunction at the gate. Those who disappeared simply crossed over to the adjoining world. You mean like we did? Indeed, no doubt some of the disappearances occurred when the gate malfunctioned. So then, what causes the gate to open in the first place? Who knows, it might be a simple accident or someone like Mayuki controlling the gate. I cannot say at this juncture. I see. Want to look at anything else? I guess show me the third floor. Third level. I've barely started my investigation into this level. I don't know much about the contents of this mural either. Analyzing the top part here, this mural seems to depict some kind of disturbance. Yeah, you mean the humans and monsters, right? They're all freaking out. Yes, many of them are upset due to some incredible power. That's all I can tell from observation alone. Each of the murals seem connected, but the timeline is hard to pin down, and... Um, Earth to Professor... Oh, pardon me. I drift in the ocean of my own thoughts again. Come, on to the next mural. Or so I would like to say, but this mural is simply replete with mysteries. Uh, let's see, humans are suffering on the bottom, and on the top are Kamanagami. Hmm, these Kamanagami share aspects of the four godlike beings in ancient legends. This composition bothers me. Traditionally, heaven would be on top, hell on bottom. Goodness, I'm truly at a loss. The most I could offer is slipshod conjecture. Well now, I believe that's as far as I can explain things for now. Thank you very much, I learned a lot. Well, I doubt much of what you learned will help increase our chances of survival. Yeah, I wanted to ask the professor how the apartment complex is related to Mayuki. Ah. Would you look at the time? We have to get back to the school. Building. Uh, hey, professor. I know you have questions, but the answers would be paltry at best. You should stick to knowledge that will assist in achieving our current goal. Well, what makes you say that? What 
is that all about? What? Oh, it's just a text. Wait, a text? Wait, what? A text? I thought we didn't get any reception here. Oh, another garbled text. a little now. Only bits and pieces, but still. Hey, Takuma. Everyone's waiting, aren't they? Oh, you're right. We'd better go. Aye, aye. The professor's intriguing words and how this garbled text. Something big might be going down here, but man, I honestly can't tell what. All of you must have been desperate out here, huh? To hold out and survive in a world like this. I have to admit, I'm impressed. I wonder if I could have held on this long myself. Well, no point in worrying about it. Best focus on the one task at hand. Yo, Takuma! Hey, Minoru. You talked with everyone, right? How'd it go? I learned how awful these past 10 days have been for everyone. The fog's been getting thicker, and the enemies won't let up on their attacks. And then there's Mayuki. Mayuki? Oh, uh, I mean... Is it really that hard to talk about what's going on with her? I want to ask him about it somehow, but... <sighs> ask him... I guess tell him what happened on the other side. Minoru, about Mayuki. Yeah, uh, right. I was with Mayuki back in Arnold. I know I talked about her being the key to creating a gate between the worlds, but she was a normal girl, shocked at how the world had changed since she'd last seen it. Come on, Minoru, tell me, what's going on? I want her to come back with us to our world. Okay, man. You're right, Takuma. I gotta tell you what's going on, don't I? Huh? Hey, Takuma, don't you think the fog's getting thicker again? Yeah, you're right. Oh man, it's coming this way. Hey, what? What's that sound? It came from the cafeteria. We gotta warn Aoi and the girls that bad guys are coming. Let's roll. Hey guys, everyone, get here, quick! Takuma, you guys are late. Saw we. <laughs> what happened? I'm afraid I can't keep that promise any longer. Promise? I told you I'd talk about Mayuki later, didn't I? But the truth is, she's over there. Has she become a villain? Oh. Um. What? My, Mayuki? Don't get any closer, Takuma. Mayuki is leading the enemy. Oh, pitiful offerings. Oh, she's possessed. Life and death, creation itself, all bend to my will. Your fates are already sealed. Mayuki, what the heck are you saying? What happened to you, Mayuki? Mayuki is channeling the master. Maybe it's better to say she's possessed. The master? You don't mean... No way. It's me, Takuma. Don't you recognize me, Mayuki? 
Answer me, please, Mayuki. This may come as a shock, Takuma, but we've had to face this reality for a few days now. Go, go on. How? Oh no, here they come. Let's hold them off. Are these things can third class Kenzoko champion first class ultimate are they all like third class hmm. there's a lot of them and I only get to bring along four Digimon Defeat all enemies. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get close enough to do a, an attack. Yeah, that's what I thought. At least get this chest open Oops. Give Metal Greymon a move boost Okay, that thing can only move two spaces, and they can move three. Sombre suspension. Alright, I couldn't remember if there was a chest on that side or not. Is not much damage. Ooh, that is not much damage either. Shoot, I should have boosted my attack. Gosh, dang it. Take that guy out. Um, really, just stay where you're at. If I move much closer, I'm going to be in a worse position. Will I get any bonus damage if I have a high ground? Nope. Alright, enemy's turn. I was worried that thing might have a great attack range. Come on, 
counterattack. Alright, booster attack. Percent accuracy. Good. Man, she's probably glad it didn't let me bring all six Digimon in here. take him out. Ah, oh, no, it just hurts him really bad. Oh, crit. Okay. Well, actually, right here might... He better make this a good attack. That was bad. Alright, dead. Alright. Easy fight. Mayuki. We've taken out the followers. All that's left is Mayuki. But can we really hurt Mayuki? Shit. Strange. How did they become so formidable with the addition of a single sacrifice? Yet I tire of this resistance. The one who brought this renewed hope must be crushed. <laughs> Here she comes, but I... What are you doing, Takuma? Your history if you keep this up. But it's my Yuki. If there's a chance to change her back, I... Fascinating, yet so typical of an offering. Slave to emotion. Incapable of judgment. Victory! Air Amulet Acorn. Superpower Pineapple. A few more. Well, now, if my limbs cannot outmatch you, I shall crush you between my teeth. Uh, Agumon? Takuma, is it really okay to fight? Stop it! I beg of you! <laughs> Professor? Please, everyone, don't attack Mayuki. How admirable. It seems age truly does bring wisdom. 
If only you were all so obedient. Don't do it, Mayuki. That's... What are you doing? How dare you? Let go of me. It's me, Mayuki. Don't you recognize me? Insolent fool. Ugh. The consciousness of this vessel has long vanished. Your appeals fall on deaf ears. You've got to remember, Mayuki. We've always been together, haven't we? It's strange. The sight of you, a lowly beast, stirs something within my heart. All the more reason for me to devour you first. Uh, no. Don't tell me Renamon fucking just died. <laughs> How frail you are. The path to oblivion unfurls before you. I won't allow it. Professor! If you want to eat someone, then start with me. I won't let you lay a hand on the child that supported Mayuki all this time. What nonsense are you? Supported? Yeah. Mayuki. I like the glitchy look. Uh, yeah. Uh. What the heck? Uh. <laughs> huh? What am I? Mayuki, is that you? You're back? This is... Uh, Mayuki. No, she's being swallowed up again. Run! Haru! Please! Quickly! Why? Why wasn't it me? Uh, uh, hurry! I can't! Mayuki! To think a mere girl would have the power to resist me still. Seems I went too far. Perhaps I should retreat for a time. We're, we're safe? That, that was a close one. Is everyone alright? Sorry, but we have to prepare for the next assault. Can you stand? Here, hold on to me. Get off of me. This is all your fault. If you hadn't shown up, we would have... My beloved Mayuki, to have stayed with her forever. Hmm. Get it now, don't you? My Yuki's no good anymore. Alright. I think we're gonna have to end it here. Uh. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy all these episodes of Digimon Survive. As always, be sure to come back next time. Or I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.